Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. This is your hippy dippy internet coming at you on this beautiful Sunday evening. And welcome to the Fluid Art Express. I hope you've seen everyone before me because they are exquisite artists and they all deserve your time and patronage. So please do go back and watch them if you haven't. There's a link in my description that gives you the play all link and you can go back and watch them one by one. If you've already seen them once and you'd like to see them again, go back and watch them again. That would be awesome. If you're not subscribed to them yet, please do subscribe to these people because they are wonderful artists, great people, and they deserve your patronage. We're going to do something a little bit out of the box today, as has been my previous way. I'm going to mix these up right quick, and then I'll be back to you through the magic of cinematography in just a moment. Fabulously, magnificently wonderful stuff today. I'm glad you're all with me. Today, we are going to do what is called a marble pour. Now, <laughs> never done one before. No clue how this is going to come out. I am sans the benefit of my wonderful and exciting Kathy because she is out sick today. So, this could be a complete nightmare, folks, with no one to smack the back of my hand and tell me you're crazy. Who knows how it will come out? Now, let's talk about the colors we're gonna use today. We're gonna use a color that I saw the wonderful and fabulous creation by Christy use, and thus she has inspired me. Sherwin Williams Forward Fuchsia. We're gonna use that as our base coat, super bright, and we're gonna try that out for the very first time today. We're gonna use a mixture of Creative Inspirations Acrylic Color Metallic Gold and Deco Art 24 Karat Gold. Now these are mixed up together with Josanya and House Paint 8300 by Bear and also a wee bit of the old Pearl Medium. We're gonna see how this comes out. Now the second color we're going to be using is from my favorite manufacturer of pigments, Koi Yellow from Eye Candy. For those of you that do not know, I am an Eye Candy affiliate, so please, if you would like to check them out, which you should, because you can see here how absolutely gorgeous that is, then go to my description and you will find a coupon that will give you 10% off. And it'll help me out just a little bit, something to help me with buying all this wonderful stuff and presenting it to you. Now, the, this is also mixed with the wee bit of the old pearl medium. Then we're gonna use Ninja Black, which is an awesome black. Also mixed with 8300 Joe Sonia. And a little pearl medium. And then we're gonna use a mixture of Shiro White and Ghost Gold and a little bit of Pearl Medium and 8300 and Josanya. That would conclude the colors we are going to be using today in our miraculous marble manifestation. So let me clear all this stuff off. You won't have to put up with that. It'll be clear in just a second.
I'm back. This is a 12 by 16 gallery level two canvas, which has been fully leveled and also has has been taped on the back. So it's all taped up and uh, good to go that way too. Uh, protected if you will. Now I probably got entirely too much paint on this. I am not sure. Because uh, once again I've never done this before but I was thinking that I might need to have a little bit extra paint uh, so that the marble does not go down to the canvas. All right, let us begin with the black. This beautiful, glowing, I can't be black. Ninja black. I'm gonna take a little bit of this and put it over here. And I'm gonna put a little bit right here. And I don't mind if I drip it. I'm gonna put a little bit here. Over here. I think a little bit over here too. Let's run all the way through there. It's kind of sad that I made a whole thing up just for that, but that's okay. I will use it in the future. Now we're gonna go with a little bit of that beautiful Shiro White and Ghost Gold mixture. Put a little bit of that there on there. I might want a little bit more of this because I think this is going to create a little bit of cloud going on there. We will see. Here. And a little bit over here, I think. The extra for beautifulness. God, this is pretty already. I don't know, man. Almost figuring I shouldn't use the marble, but I think the marble is going to make it look really pretty, so put a good bit right here in the middle because it it's going to get run around on the outside I would think and that is that beautiful white and gold mixture now we're going to run just a little bit of this creative inspirations gold and 24 karat gold mixture in there I'm bring it out through these go too far with that don't want it to take over and last but not least this beautiful core yellow the core yellow I'm just gonna do drops of Start one little core. Just a tiny touch right here. Now in this type of pour, the color disbursement, where you put down the colors, is of course up to the artist's eye. But the beautiful thing about the final product is that determined by the flow of the De Marbalers. So, how many marbles am I going to put on there? Well, put one right there. One right here. One right in the middle of there. One over here. One over here. Making sure there's no hairs on them in case you wonder why I'm blowing on them. It's because I have dogs never know where their fur gets off to now as the wonderful Dion Warwick would say say a little prayer for me here we go let's go 
this way first. This way. There. is just the way I wanted those to travel slowly so maybe I have the right amount of paint on there who knows go ahead and let that one drop off and let's go run this way there yet. But we'll let that one go off. And we're going to come back this way. We'll get this to go that way just a touch. And then we're going back out this way. This is kind of like doing the uh, deconstructed modifications on a bloom except for rather than using the instrument of a stylus for that you are using the marbles now I wish I could separate I'm gonna set this down here just a bit I'm gonna separate these out of touch don't really want them that close together Now these pearlescent colors should develop on their own and give it a kind of a pillowy look. We will see. Go this way a little bit and get in that corner that I missed with all these other colors. And I'm gonna come back this way. Run through there one more time. Whoop, there it goes. I knew that was gonna come off on this one. That's right, we're gonna continue to use these. And bring them over here way and let's come back through here oh my goodness I don't want to mess up that I like that let's come this way a little let's go down here on the edge please don't fall off the edge I don't want to lose you yet come this way okay and then we're gonna go this way because I don't like that black there's too much there all right through there and come over here I think that is getting close to where I want to be drop that one off drop drop gone and we will come this way and back through the gold through the black and don't fall off yet we're coming around to the white and we're gonna run that down this way and go through that last bit of black and gold all right boys and girls the hippie digs that man that is psychedelic from the go. I love it. Now, I am going to do a few further embellishments with the stylus, uh, simply because there's just a couple areas that I would like to develop with a more specialized hand. Uh, so we're gonna start out here in this area with the stylus. And we're gonna come this way and go around and round. I like that. Now we're gonna go into this gold over here and come this way. Yep. And I think I want one more. I'm gonna bring one in here. Go through here. Give it a little curve. And I'm gonna go through <laughs> here. Wrap around. And I'm not particularly happy with this empty 
empty empty center here so let's go uh, wipe that off a little better a little pink in that let's go in uh, this area Bring it out. go in there and maybe in this one too oops I'm still got some pink on there hold on maybe in this one too All right. Wow, 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 wow. That's pretty cool. I do want to run one more little area of yellow. Let me see here. Get all the drips off of that right there. And I'm going to put a little bit of white with it right next to it there. All right. And we're gonna run through that. I think gold into white, don't you, ladies and gentlemen? Let's go from here and to there and back out. Oh, oh, oh. yes, sir, I like that. Beautiful. I'm gonna go here though, in the middle of this little pretty thing, and make it look prettier by going from right here out there. And what else? Anything else I want to jiggly woo with? Well, well, well. Hmm. I'm gonna go through. Yeah, I was gonna leave it, but I'm gonna go through this and just pull it into a prettiness off the side there, and maybe one in here also. Maybe two in there. Yeah. And I want to bring it out of here a little bit. Oh, I'm going to bring this through. Hold on. Go from here. And here. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Bang, 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 get you bang, bang, kabo, 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 bang. Hmm. Well, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, chicks and dudes, lads and lasses, I believe that is going to be my presentation for the day. It's quite beautiful. I love it. Uh, it's got a lot of paint on it, but you know what? I'm not pouring it off. I'm going to put this underneath a cardboard box in the other room where there's no breeze on it. Just see if I can get away with it drying without having mountainous cracks of all sizes in it. Um, you know what? I, I can't stand it. There's one more place. There, I know I should leave it alone, but there's one more place right here I want to run through. Let me do the smaller end on that one. And give me a curl. Yes. I saw that. I had to do it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I know that, that as usual, some of you are out there going, no, leave it alone. I like it. But you know what? I do the same thing when other people are painting. And uh, I have come to realize that, number one, they can't hear me. <laughs> and number two, uh, the beauty is truly in the eye of the artist. And uh, there's basically, you know, no wondering about what the what the mind is thinking between one person and another. I think that looks good now. I wasn't happy with it until I did these other modifications that I just did. So for those of you that liked it earlier, sorry. But I like it. I look. Oh wait, I want to, <laughs> sorry. Here I go, man. I can't let things go. I got one more I want. for me today boys and girls if you liked what I did today if you're smelling what I'm selling if you can dig it then hit them thumbs up for me please and tell us that you like it all right uh, if you haven't subscribed to me yet and you like what I'm doing 
please do subscribe because I would love to have you as part of the Hippie Nippie family. I love you babies and I want you all up in the house putting your feet up, staying a while. So uh, hit that subscribe. Uh, if you want to see the next time the crazy man comes up with something completely different, then please do uh, hit the little bell there and that will notify you the next time I put something out. When you do that, you need to scroll down, pull the little scroll down thing. I don't know what you call those things. Uh, I'm terrible at that. But you pull that down and uh, hit the all. Check the all because if you don't, YouTube decides what you get to see of my work. Uh, if you all, then they all come up and you get to decide what you want to see of my work. Now, I'm going to put an example of that on the screen right now for those of you that aren't completely sure how to do that. When you pull down the arrow next to the bell, that's what you'll see. And, uh, man, you know, if you dig it, then your friends will dig it. You know, you spend a lifetime building friends and relationships, man. The way that comes out, what separates the friends from the acquaintances is that they dig what you dig, man. Share. Share with your friends. Let them all know. And with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and wipe this thing nasty old bum off and carry it in the other room. And uh, until next bright time, bright channel, peace out.